here tonight at 1030 with an ongoing battle in Bucks County. First responders rely on it, but some residents say it is getting out of hand. The argument over whether emergency sirens are necessary in the borough of Langhorne continues to defy that community. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher has the details tonight. The sound of a fire siren that stands tall above the Langhorne Middletown Fire Company comes up in a debate every few years. It's been in service for a number of decades. A petition is now making its way around the town to decommission it. I circulated petitions between the different business owners around here. And I'm part of the community. I'm bothered by it. Um, many business uh, owners, employees and residents are bothered by the siren. However, the fire department says the siren has several purposes to alert their firefighters and to alert residents that crews will be coming and going quickly from the station. The community is protected by a 100% volunteer fire company. So, I mean, it, we're their neighbors. Um, you know, when my fire pager goes off, when that siren blows, we stop our lives and we become the professional firefighters of this community. The argument the department has to keep the sirens is because pagers or cell phones don't always go off because of dead zones. There's a, a luncheonette uh, about two blocks away and one of our members was there having breakfast. His pager never activated. He heard the siren. And he was the only driver to show up that day. Fire department says they need it and I disagree and I'm confronting them on the subject. Back in January, members of the fire department voted unanimously to keep the siren. The president of the Langhorne Borough Council may not be a fan of the sound, but he's putting his trust in the department. It is jarring. It wakes me up, but I know that somebody's probably having the worst day of their life, and so I can just roll over and go back to sleep knowing that uh, our men and women of the fire company are taking care of the public at large. He says no members of the community have brought it up to council. It's a nuisance to the everybody. I can hear. I grew up in Parkland, about three miles away. You can hear it from there. I mean, it, we need it, but should it be so loud? I understand the uses. It's good because all the people can hear it, so they notice the fire in the area. Overall, there appears to be mixed reaction coming from residents, depending exactly how close they live or work to the fire station. Reporting in Langhorne, Brianna Gallagher for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Turning now to.